Hey guys, how's it going? Part 2 of the opening. I basically did an update slash intro about my day. Well, not really my day, but, you know, sort of. What we're doing this video. Anyway, in this video, we are going to start the opening right away. So, here we go. Turn that up a bit. Where we get the... Oh, and this scene is so awesome, guys. Like, this scene is vintage Seto Kaiba. What? Guns? That doesn't exist! You'll pay for betraying me. Well, let me say it in Kaiba's voice. You'll pay for betraying me. Oh, let me pretend I'm interested in Salvatore. Gee, Mr. Salvatore, why would they want to do that? Try me, big boy. Seto Kaiba doesn't play. Go, Yaten Taco Megami. Use your special ability. Gun blocking mode. <laughs> it's your fault this valuable karma's damaged, you fiend. Now take my elbow in your chest. Then, take that. Seto Kaiba. You just get curb stopped by Seto Kaiba. Any questions? If you try that again, you won't get off so easily, you dweeb. Now, take me to Mokuma, you fool! <laughs> and the opening starts now. So, I already said what it includes and everything in the previous video, so with that, let's get started. <laughs> I'm excited to see what will happen with this video. In terms of copyright, because some videos I have that are Yu-Gi-Oh related are copyrighted, and some are not, and I cannot open this. Just gonna need a key, guys. Be right back. Okay. So I grabbed the key from the wall over there. I have to come over here to this side. Hi, how you guys doing today? What am I, 14 here? But yeah, we're just gonna open this in. Alright, so with that, we can see everything that's inside. Put my key back in my pocket. We're in the Cowboys jersey today, by the way. Yeah. You know. Anyway, there's some of the promos. And the three packs are in here, too. So, And yeah, the rest of the tin, eh, nothing in there. It's a nice tin. I actually really, really like it. My favorite part of the tin is this logo right here. The Kaiba Corp logo. Hashtag Kaiba Corp. <laughs> Oh man, I love that abridged episode Little Kribo did when um, they were basically doing like infomercials for Tulik. <laughs> like that was such a great, you know, like they even did Black and Decker with the elephant. <laughs> it was hilarious, man. Anyway. Uh oh, Yugi has the Dark Magician out. Dark Magic Attack. But anyway, yeah, let's step aside and uh, let's get to the opening so for the promos I'm actually gonna turn the volume down a bit yeah I'm actually gonna ooh there we go I'm gonna turn the volume down a bit so you guys can probably hear me better how's that can you guys hear me can you hear me now bad uh should have said can you hear me now copyright <laughs> anyway uh, promo pack. Let's open that first. Get all the goodies. So it told you pretty much what promos you get in this Mega Tin. And really all of them, pretty solid. So this is a secret rare blue eyes. I think the light can kind of, oh yeah, that's wonderful. You can kind of catch from the light there. And you can see the text. The legendary dragon is a powerful, this legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Very few have faced it this awesome creature and live to tell the tale so that's awesome next promo is proxy dragon a link monster and this is just two monsters and if a card it's a link too so 1400 not bad if a card and it points to the left and right which is interesting but if a cards you control would be destroyed by a battle or card effect you can destroy one of your monsters this card points to and says so basically you get to choose uh whatever's in the proximity <laughs> of proxy dragon you get to choose what gets kaboomed so that's pretty nice and it's also a nice hollow 
Next is what a lot of people got this tin for. Pot of Desires, yeah. I remember uh, DZ making a video about how the, how he spent, you know, like basically four or five hundred on three of these, you know, brand new. It is a really great card, you know, overall. So, my opinion, my opinion on that. And you get number 68, which is a rank 8. Pretty good effect as well. I'll read it. Two level eights gains a hundred attack and defense for each monster in the graveyards, and it starts at twenty one. So that's and that's both graveyards, by the way. So once per turn, you can detach a material until the end of your opponent's next turn. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can special summon from the graveyard. So great effects overall, and uh, I'd say probably one of my more favorite rank eights because I I actually do own this card and use it to this day. So. Anyway, and of course, Elder Entity, Ness. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's just a fusion with any Synchro monster and any Exceed monster, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if this card saw any tournament play, but anyway. Uh, gotta be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above cards you control to the grave, so you don't need Polly, which is good. Once per turn, you can special summon one level 4 monster. And what from your hand? Yeah, which is really great. If this card sends to the graveyard, you can target a card on the field, destroy it, which is awesome. And you can only special summon Elder this card once per turn, which makes sense because uh, back the I would actually wouldn't mind if they lifted that restriction as far as the once per turn because uh, it was just mainly because back then uh, Link format. Uh, I think when this card first came out, Link format didn't like hinder. The board, so I could I could see why they have that restriction. But now with link format, I think they can take that restriction off. Just my opinion. And you get uh, one of my probably favorite token. This is gonna be probably one of my favorite token cards ever. Is a Seto Kaiba in his Duelist Battle City uh, gear uh, token. So that is very awesome, and it's uh, Ultra. So look at that man. That's like a boss. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we got commercials going on crunch, Crunchy Roll right now. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, but yeah, hopefully none of this is copyrighted and I am able to upload this video. No problem. And we have Doki Doki Literature Club. Ha <laughs> ha. The references. Middle Foles Silvered. Cool. Good card, actually. Some of these commons in here are actually pretty good. Uh, Middle Foles Ori Calc. Uh, Blackwing, Gofu, the Vague, Shadow. Oh, wait, there we go. Now you guys can see the <laughs> top of the card. Uh, Kristan Prasiortor. Wait, how would you say that? Kristan Prasiortor. There we go. <laughs> Simp Amplifier. And for the Super, Priestess with Eyes of Blue. One of my probably still favorite cards to this day. Uh, just because I run that Blue Eyes deck. Uh, for the secret, nice dimensional barrier, great card. Uh, yeah, declare a monster card type, ritual fusion, exceed or aka X Y Z or pendulum. For the rest of the turn, neither player can special summon monsters of the declared type. Also, negate the effects of all monsters of that type while they are on the field. You can only activate one dimensional barrier once per turn. So yeah, great card, great card, really. Um, because yeah, usually you know. You'll play this after your opponent has played, you know, their first turn or so, and then you know which type, to, what their deck is. You know, you know they're running like Ritual Beast ambushes, or you know they're running basically a synchro heavy deck, or you see that hey, they have a level four on the field and I can't kill it. Well, if they summon another level four, you know to declare Ho oh, exceed, you know, <laughs> unless they got some kind of effects going on. And for the um. What's this, the Ultra Rare? Yeah, we got uh, Lecter Pendulum, the Dracova Lord. Great card. Um, yeah, negates the effects of all face-up Pendulum monsters while it's in the Pendulum zone, so that's awesome. Uh, the regular effect, at the start of the damage step, this card battles a Pendulum monster. Destroy both that monster and this card. Not a bad card. And it's level 4, 1950. Good beater as well. And Tenmai Taite. <laughs> For the regular rare. And we have a uh, White Princess. <laughs> Always like the uh, misnomer in that name on that one. And we have the interlude, so I'll do an interlude myself. 
Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I forget this remote doesn't always work well. <laughs> Could be an issue, but nah. We have Cypher Entranger. Looks like Entrancer. Paleozoic Cana Canadia. And then we have Dino Setwing. <laughs> I'll read the effect. This is actually a pretty good effect. Cannot be destroyed by battle. So there's that. If targeted for an attack, this card gains a thousand attack and defense. If this card's attack, the after damage calculation, the attack and defense gained from this card returns to zero. So pretty interesting what can happen. Um, one of the really, 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 really awesome card combos with this card is Staunch Defender. While this card's in attack mode. Yeah, just use Staunch Defender. And hopefully, of course, your opponent has five monsters. Use it while it's in attack mode. Stomp Defender and something like uh, Wabaku or something that stops you from taking damage. Yeah. <laughs> then all five have to attack it, and it gets pretty insane. So, uh, wait, would that work? I think that would work. Leave a comment if it wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, anyway, Red War. And Speed Roid Horse Stilts. And we're back to Doki Doki, so that's it for the first pack. Maybe that combo wouldn't work, actually, because, yeah, its effect says something like returns to zero after calculation. I don't know if that means after the battle phase, or... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, either way, it's a good combo. Even if it can't be... Even if the points return, a great combo would be, you know, powering up with something like United We Stand, and then doing the Staunch Defender thing. Anyway, Double Cypher, Paleozoic, Lian Colia. <laughs> I love that name. Ancient Gear, Howitzer. Alright, and we have Digital Bug, Core. I always pronounce this Quarabagie for some reason, but I think most people say Core, but Core Bag. Anyway, Ancient Gear, Hunting Hound. <laughs> Good effect. Performer Pal Fireflux for those uh, Runeized decks. And for the super, we have Magician of Dark Illusion. Pretty good card. It's got some nice effects. Good defense. Whoa, sweet. And this was kind of the card I was hoping for. <laughs> wow. Yeah, baby. Hang on, hang on. I gotta stand up for this one, guys. Woo. Yeah, you guys just saw my face when I pulled that. <laughs> but, yeah, 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 baby. Can you feel that, huh? I have... Sanctify the demon. This house is clear. Yeah. Woo. Wow. Now I really, 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 really hope this isn't copyrighted for some reason on YouTube. But anyway, yeah. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. And I basically have to read the effects because this was a signature card of Shining Victories. And I never pulled it out of Shining Victories. And it's so sad. But anyway. So it still has the same attack and defense of a regular blue eyes, 3,025. I'm kind of surprised they didn't make it like 3,200 for the attack. But it is still pretty powerful. So blue eyes twin burst dragon, the effects are, must be either fusion summoned or special summoned by sending the above monsters you control, aka on the field, to the graveyard. Uh, in which case you do not need to use polymerization, so that's great. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. 